There's a lot of people that sent me a video of this welfare queen. Now I want you to watch this welfare queen and she's going to show that with food stamps, what she can do that a lot of hardworking people can't do. I really just bought it for the fucking video. I don't want this shit to disgust me. I used to lay lobster, but I can't eat it now. I went and I bought a fucking live lobster with my food stamps. Why are you allowed to buy a live lobster with your food stamps? So I picked out the biggest, fucking juiciest one. Just a lobster. So think of people like that cashier, right? So she'd have to work at least an hour and a fucking half to. She had, this is an hour and a half of her time for me to buy this so I can make a fucking YouTube video. That Thank you. Thank you. The, the, her taxes paid, like, the, these people's taxes paid for this. It's like, well, they're fucking, they can barely afford to fucking feed themselves. And their taxes are going for people to buy a fucking <laughs> lobster <laughs> with their food stamp. She's got a fucking flip phone. She probably, it gets shut off all the time. She can't even fucking afford to pay her bill, right? The government, so this is just my normal phone, right? I don't need another phone. The government gave me a fucking free smartphone this is what minimum wage people's taxes are going for this is my this is my coach keychains this these three keychains here they cost more than those minimum wage people's fucking car payment these three keychains cost more than that fucking car payment well actually most of them don't even have fucking cars they're using fucking public transportation and you can just sit on your ass. I'm on social security for depression. Depression is a disability. So if you're too depressed to work full time, full time, apply for social security. So this is what the minimum wage people will pay for, is for me to give lobster to my fucking dog and make a YouTube video about it mocking them. If you enjoy the news and information we present on the show, we ask you to help us reach our 3,000 member goal on Patreon. You can join at a minimum of 2 or $5 per month. We would like to thank every person that's a member. Without you, the show wouldn't survive. Now, this video is very sickening. This woman stated that if you are depressed, you can be on Social Security. Why are you getting on Social Security for being depressed? You know how many people that don't feel good about different things that's going on in their life? And many people have to shrug that off, get themselves up, go to work in the morning or at night, whatever time they have to go to work or work in their business, etc. They don't have the luxury to feel bad about themselves because other people, maybe their kids, um, husband or wife or whoever is depending on them to be a helpful part of the family. You see what this woman showed in this video is why I really support, uh, cutting a lot of those programs off because she gladly showed and I was looking at the receipt that she had because it said food stamp balance on there. Cause you know, I say, well, maybe this woman just faking around, but no, she's just showing how easy it is to get over on the system. If you look at her, she's able bodied to work, but she's not going to work. She is lazy as hell. And the propaganda in America, is that the black woman is the welfare queen, but she is not the welfare queen. The Hispanic woman is not the welfare queen. Cause you know, most of the time they give the services to the woman, the welfare queen of America is the Caucasian female. Now Caucasians get welfare at a rate of 40%. Now to the high IQ people that's going to try to come to this video, cause I know how smart you are. It has nothing to do with us population. It has to do with the amount of cases the snap program are taking in and population size has nothing to do with who's going to be poor or not, or who's going to be successful or not. So let's not go there. Just take those uh, numbers to what they are. But we know that they know how to gain the system a whole lot better than black folks or any other group know how to gain the system. But you understand something, America's broke. America is not producing a whole lot of money like they try to uh, portray themselves. Is it going to become a day, and it should happen very soon, that they cut those programs, that that free ride is over, those free phones are over, get up and get a job like the rest of us. If illegals are crossing the border and they're getting jobs, then why in the hell you can't get a job? That's what I want to know. You don't want a job. You want to be lazy. You don't want to pay taxes like the rest of us because it makes me and my wife just early sick to pay the IRS taxes like that. Cause you know, when you have a business, you got to pay the high dollar tax, the what 35%. I'm a big proponent of Donald Trump's tax bill because it's going to help people like myself um, and many others that's trying to work hard in small business, right? 
this female, it should make everybody sick and tired because that poor woman is working at that grocery store, standing on her feet all day. She don't want to be there. She's not getting paid a whole lot. She is uh, possibly, you know, riding a bus to work or not the best car in the world to work and trying to earn a living like everybody else should earn a living. But yeah, she can come in and do YouTube videos, feeding a dog lobster. I wouldn't buy myself a lobster at the grocery store. And I sure as hell wouldn't give none of my dogs a lobster. The best thing you're going to get is some blue Buffalo. That's about good as you're going to get from me. That's the best you're going to get outside of blue Buffalo. I wish I would go buy a lobster for a dog, but we know that the situation with a dog and the persuasion of woman in the video, that's a different story. Look at dogs, a total different way that black people look at dogs, but we've covered that many times before. But when it comes to this welfare, getting over, it needs to stop. And these so-called people that try to frame it as black folks, no, it's your own. You know it's you, but the only way you can get people to do something unless you galvanize things against black people. I say at the end of the day, in the welfare of the day, if you aren't contributing to the system, I don't think you should get nothing out of it, period. Now, if you lose your job and you need the help, I think as a taxpayer, they should help you. They should give you food stamps and welfare. You paid into it and you can prove it by your tax returns. But if you got people just laying around healthy and able body and go to work and talking about they're depressed, nope, you ain't getting the crap. Get up and go get a job like the rest of us. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this welfare queen that's in this video. Share the video on your social media page. Like the commentary, subscribe, and make sure you click the notification bell so you can find out when we post new news stories.